guys, for today's video, I'll be showing you guys all things K-pop that I bought in the month of February. I know February ended a while ago and this video is very late, but I was incredibly busy lately. To make up for it, this haul will be fairly large. There's around 15 packages alone, not including the albums on the side. Even with the 15 packages here, my most expensive purchase of the month isn't even on frame right now. It's actually in my phone. I actually bought a pair of concert tickets to see my very first Korean act. At the end of April, my best friend and I will be seeing Epic High in our city. It is their second time in our area, but it's our first time going because back when they were here the first time, we were in school out of town, so that wasn't even an option to come back. But they're back now and we're older, so we're going this time. I don't think there will be any photos or video, but I will tell you guys about the experience when I do do my April haul. Although I'm just going for my best friend, I am still very excited for this concert. Back onto the packages. We'll first talk about the albums that are already opened, and then we'll open the boxes from largest to smallest, and then we'll end off with the envelopes. So yeah, let's start with the albums. Pretty much the first K-pop album of the year that I did an unboxing for is Taemin's Want. I'm a huge Taemin fan, so anything he drops I'll be pretty excited for. But I was thoroughly impressed with Want. I love the visuals, I love the dance. The concept is really nice too. It is a bummer that the era ended so quickly, but at least he was able to get at least two wins, I believe. And for these albums, I got the following content. So for this album, he started giving out standees for some reason, but I do dig that as I'm huge on standees lately. So this is one of four and it's quite tiny, but deliciously handsome. And this is my photo card. My favorite of the two that I pulled, the back. And for the more version, I pulled the same standee, which surprised me and left me kind of disappointed. <laughs> I still have to trade this, if anyone's even up to trade for this. And this photo card, quite similar to the other one, but it is more of a pout. Cute. As for the photo books themselves, you can watch the unboxing for it on the upper right right here. As with the typical Taemin albums, the photo book styles are very, very similar. It's the exact same styling, but with different poses. So it doesn't really matter which version you buy, you'll still get the general idea of the concept he's going for. So just choose whichever photo card style you like more or just which cover you like more. I do recommend getting this album. Taemin stuff is always a masterpiece. For our first package, it is our largest package and it is actually not fragile. I don't know why there's a sticker on it, but I appreciate the extra care. As you can see, this purchase is from eBay Great Music CD. This item alone made me want to refill my photo card collection video just for the sake of adding it in. That's how much I really like this item. All right, I don't think there's a shipping label, but if there is, I will edit it out. Oh my god, this is actually the size of the box, the item. Wow. Alright, got everything out at once. And you can see it is red velvet related. So let's put them side to side because they're related. I bought them together because they work well together. So on the left here, we have a binder from SM. It is part of the RBB era. I don't know why SM keeps releasing so many miscellaneous items per era, but this one's actually really useful. It is a photo card collecting binder. And on the right here, it is kind of like a member divider, I would say. As you can see, it has RBB. I kind of wish it said Wendy on the side. That'd be kind of cool. Wendy's my buy, so I bought the Wendy version and I'll just slip her in because she'll look beautiful on here. I won't open this yet because there's really not much to show, it's just this. But I'll show you the binder because it actually comes with a photo card. It comes with two actually. Oh my god, that was stiff. And I broke the plastic. It's all right, I'm gonna use the binder anyways. Doesn't matter. Here we have it. It is glossy, it's like a textbook. It is thinner than I thought it would be. 
but I also didn't check the measurements, so that's on me. The back, it really feels like a photo book. Like that's the material it is. And the front. So it does come with some sleeves. It's not the nicest sleeves, so I don't think I'll use these. I use actually really high quality sleeves, so these are pretty janky in comparison. But the photo cards are nice. So for all of the binders, it comes with a group photo card. It says Revavit RBB on the back. Pretty much the same bags as the hologram photo cards. Not the same texture though. These are very, very thin. I don't know if they're the same quality as regular photo cards or even thinner. And then because I bought the Wendy specific binder, I got Wendy's photo card. Cute. And it matches the divider thing that I bought. I don't know how I'm gonna organize the divider in my collection. I do have a Wendy specific page, but I think it's kind of worth it just slip it in there. I'm gonna just have it as the overall front. But yeah, very happy with these purchases. It is nicer quality than I thought. If you guys are interested for you collectors out there, there are still some available. The last time I checked, all of the members were still available. But the only reason why I was hesitant on this, even though I was very excited to get this, was the shipping press. Together, the shipping price for this package alone was 20 bucks. Like that's a price of an album, that's insane. But it is well wrapped and it did arrive kinda early, but that hurts so much. Like I always go for the cheapest option and that was the cheapest option, like that's insane. But whatever, got the stuff now and it's way nicer than I expected. But also since this binder is thinner than I thought, I might buy another one. Because my Red Velvet collection is very full right now, it'll fill this up instantly, like, this is nothing. So I might get another one and I'll probably get Sogi's version instead, or Irene, I don't know, whoever's prettiest <laughs> in their concept photos, but gotta get my girl Randy. Our next largest package is actually an album from eBay, all the way from Korea as well. I normally don't buy albums from eBay because I'm not fully sure it actually applies to Huntail charts and like those Skyon charts. I really want my albums to count for the artist's sales, so that's why I never really buy from eBay. But this album was sold out pretty early from a lot of stores, so I had to resort to eBay and I did get it at a pretty decent price. This album's probably been in my possession for about a month now. I've been holding out on it because I've never really bought an album from an artist that I know so little from. So I'm still trying to learn more about them before I do the unboxing. And it is CLC with their latest EP, number one. Wow, <laughs> what an era! I know they did really well in the black dress era, but this one finally got them their two wins. Congrats, CLC. Very, very good job. I absolutely love this album. It's short, but it's so fun. There's five great tracks. I've been having this album on repeat since it came out. It is so damn good. And I really like the style of this album. You can see it's kind of like a comic book style. It's a little slimmer than I thought it would be. And it's a nice thick book, number one. And the back with the members. The reason why I haven't done unboxing for this is also because I'm still learning some of the members' names. I have a good five of them down. I'm still a little confused about Elki and Sunghee. And the only reason why I even know Yujin is because of the hair. So I'm still learning. <laughs> but this unboxing will be up right after this haul. It will be the next video. Super, super excited for this. For our next two packages, I'll do them together because I bought it from the same seller. One of them arrived at the end of January, right after I filmed my January haul, and the other one arrived recently, so that's why there's two packages from the same seller. I honestly don't recall what photo cards I bought and how many, so we'll both be in for a surprise today. <laughs>
many bubble wrap. It's like drowning in bubble wrap. And let's get our photo cards out. We'll just combine them at this point. I think I got this one first. So we'll do this pal first. So first up, we have Yuri from Girls' Generation. This is from their subunit, OGG. This is one of her two photo cards. I pulled her other one in my album. So Yuri's collection is finally done. Cute. Next up is Chen. This is from EXO's. I think this is Love Shot? Oh yeah. This should be for the shot version. Just trying to fill up this collection while the photo cards are decently priced. Shio Mini. Love shot as well. I'm only buying for the version of the album I bought, which is the shot version. Suho, looking like a snack. Next, we have Shumini again. This is from Don't Mess Up My Tempo, Allegro version. I really love this photo card. Like, I really love the color usage. His hair's on point, too. Baekhyun, this is also from Tempo, Allegro. I think my Allegro version might be finished, the collection. Not too sure though, but if so, I'm only missing one or two. Lisa, this is from Blackpink. This should be the black version. This might be her selfie. Oh no, this is her random photo card. And this is her pink version, I believe. So my Lisa set should be complete, I believe, for both the black and the pink version. Next up, we have Yeri, a cutie pie. I really like this photo card. This is from Red Velvet Rookie. Next, we have Kai. This is from Exo's Tempo, Allegro version. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this collection. Chen, same version. Ki. So they're both in the same album, so I'll show them together. This is from Ki's solo album, Face. So with these two photo cards, my key set is done. And speaking of key, I will have his album on the way. I haven't bought it yet, but I will have an unboxing for his repackaged album. And these were the many photo cards I got from Jace. Lots of SM artists. We're finally onto these smaller packages. I organized them from domestic to international. So we'll start off with the closest to me, which is in California, my state. I honestly don't recall what this might be, but to guess, I'll just say something Red Velvet related. This just looks like a pain to cut. There's a lot of tape. Hopefully the knife is sharp enough. Actually, oh, I'll just use my hands. Nope, nope, I cannot. Oh, yep, yep, I can. I think this is just one photo card in here. Okay, there's a top loader, so I can squeeze it out because the photo card is protected. Oh, uh, it's not a top loader. I think it's cardboard. I'm like popping the bubble wrap, but I'm not getting it out. Oh my god. Oh, now I remember what this is. Okay, I'm still kind of lost. Oh, <laughs> this wrapper made it look like it's chocolate. I thought they actually reused a chocolate wrapper. This is cute. Too much tape though. Oh my god. Oh, dear, I fell. Got her back. And for my purchase, I bought Yuri. This is from Peekaboo era. This is her paper folder photo card. It's a really silly thing SM's doing, just selling a bunch of photo cards. But since I already bought the Irene version and I saw Yuri on sale, might as well get Yuri as well. So I'm two of five with this collection. So for these photo cards, all of them will have a line right here because it was slipped into the folder like that as you can see in my January haul of 2019 with Irene's photo card. So all of these, regardless of how nice they are, they will be aligned. It's so damn pretty. And Yuri looks like a babe here. 
from California, we also go back to California, and this is actually from a Wendy stand. I had to write a little note because I wouldn't have remembered. Although this is from a Wendy stand, this isn't a Wendy purchase. Oh, now I remember who it is. Okay, it took me a while. I thought it was Sogi. No, I remember who I bought. This actually arrived in like two days. I didn't know this seller was from California. They didn't say. So I was surprised when it arrived almost immediately. A card. Oh, a little message. Thank you for purchasing Yuri's Yokohama photo card. Oh, and that's the seller. It's like everyone has the same style. <laughs> All right, let's slip her out. Oh, this is nice. It's thick and it's matte. This is a thicker material than the photo card I received in my binder. Okay. So this is part of SM's series where they're releasing like Red Velvet photo cards during their concert in Japan. So this is for the city of Yokohama. I initially wasn't planning to collect other members. I was just gonna focus on Wendy. But I saw Yuri being sold at a pretty decent price. Like this is the lowest I've ever seen in this series being sold at. So I bought it. So I will buy all the members now. <laughs> just to make her not lonely in my page. The back. So there are a few different cities. But since I already got Yokohama Yuri, I will collect the rest of the Yokohama series. And then focus on the other cities. This is a really nice photo card. Also, if you guys didn't know, these concept photos are actually from Red Velvet's hashtag cookie jar. So, Japanese album for a Japanese city concert. Fitting. We leave California and we're now in Texas. I kind of know who this might be. I, I'm just gonna say girl group. Part of me thinks it's Irene, but I don't think it's Irene. Thank you so much. Oh no, it's not. Oh, cute sticker. I don't know who this is. This looks like Chen though. Very cute. You know how I said it was going to be Irene? And it wasn't Irene? Well, Irene's real name is Ju Hyun. And that's also So Hyun's real name, Ju Hyun. So I did get a Ju Hyun, but I didn't get the right one that I guessed. Name is very tricky to say. And this is So Hyun. This is her solo project away from Girls' Generation. This is for her album, Don't Say No. This is the last photo card I was missing, so I just bought it on eBay. Pretty decent price. A lot of black going on. It's quite a contrast from her nice pale skin. I don't know why I held out on buying this photo card for the longest time. That page was empty for a while, but I finally finished the collection. I believe this is our last US location, and it is in New York. I'm blanking out. Like with the previous package, I was at least able to guess because I kind of had an idea, but this one, no idea. My biggest enemy with these haul videos is the tape. It's cardboard. Oh, how cute. Is this like Snapchat? I feel kind of old asking that as if I don't have Snapchat. Oh my god, they use like duct tape. <laughs> I find it funny, they use duct tape there and they use like regular tape there. Could I just use that for here? <laughs> oh, okay, this is the Irene purchase. All right, there's nothing else. I got the states mixed up. This is Irene's photo card for RBB. This outfit's actually the outfit she wore for the SM. Halloween party, so that's why she looks ridiculous. Get her out. I don't recall if I paid a good price for this or not. I think I actually won this in a bidding, so yes, I did win this at a good price. The back. She just looks like a little chick here. I think it's supposed to be a character, but I'm not familiar with Korean media stuff that isn't K-pop related, so I don't recall who she came as. But yeah, I'm happy I got Irene. I never pull Irene, so I always had to buy her photo cards. And I think this is the only one I have for RBB for Irene at the moment. And it is a memorable one for sure. So for this purchase, it's actually technically from eBay. But due to the seller's inexperience or just eBay's fault, I don't really know. 
I wasn't able to buy this photo card because we're from different countries, but the seller was nice enough to just talk me through it through the messaging of eBay's website. And I was able to make this purchase kind of off-site, you know? It was very ballsy of me to do that. That's why I opened it already. I normally just hold on to these and open it for camera, but I've never bought something where I have to just negotiate with the seller, you know? Like when I do it on Instagram, I at least have PayPal as my backup. For this, it was just straight up trusting the seller. Very scary thing to do. But this seller was the kindest person ever. Like it's one of my favorite packagings. I love the cute little EXO tape that they made. The photo card was actually like in this ribbon, like this message was in the ribbon. And they wrote this cute little message. Thank you, Jade. And the photo card was in tissue paper. Like this is all very precious. I don't know, like it's, it was nice to see this type of packaging, even though there's like no protection, there's no cardboard, no top loader. But it is so cute, like I just really dig it. And I got Chanyo, this is from EXO's Tempo Allegro version. With this, I am positive that my EXO Allegro version is done. A very good purchase, he is so damn cute. Thank you, Jade. Instead of a purchase, this next one is a trade I made with a seller in Romania. This took a month to arrive, like I've never had something take this long to arrive including for the seller too. We were talking and then they were surprised that it was taking this long as well. But it finally arrived and let's check it out. This one, I really remember what it is because I was so anxious about this one. So this one is probably the only item I bought where I know for sure what it is before I open it. Look at the cutie pie. Another red velvet purchase. Oh, I think I ripped her note, my bad. I am so sorry. All right, let's get Sogi out. So this is Sogi during red velvet's rookie era. My first Sogi photo card for this era. These photo cards are pretty expensive. I think it's because it's kind of old now, this album, but it's very cute. So I'm trying to finish it quickly. So to get this photo card, I actually traded my extra Wendy photo card. And I'm hoping Wendy got through here safely. Still gotta check up on her with that. But for me, on my end, this is a very successful trade. Happy to add Sogi into my rookie page. And I don't think I've ever contacted someone from Romania before, so that was pretty interesting. So I actually bought these from the same seller like six days apart. I don't know why, but I didn't check if I wanted anything else. It would have saved me on shipping money, but there goes it. I actually didn't blur out the item name, you can see what they are right here because the seller printed it for some reason. So we know what this will be. Did it do anything? Oh, it did. Awesome. This knife is so sharp. Let's see if I can just get it out without opening anything else. Oh no, I'm bending it. Okay. Okay, perfect. our first two photo cards. Let's try to get this one out. Oh, really hope that didn't hurt the photo card. What a slick move I did. <laughs> All right. And for my purchase, I got Sugi. And if I can pull them out, there's two photo cards in here. Oh wait, they taped it, no wonder. Sugi and... This is anticlimactic. Sugi and Yuri, woo! So these are photo cards for RBB. Beautiful set. I'm just trying to get this done while it's still fresh. Love this era. I know many of you guys didn't, but this is one of my favorite eras. And these photo cards are gorgeous, especially Yuri's one. I think Yuri had the prettiest set for this era. I think with this purchase, my Yuri set is done. And for Sogi, I am still missing her other one. I don't know if it's in this haul. My memory for this is very vague. And next, I have Soji, my bias in EXID. The main reason why I bought EXID's I Love You single album, besides it's just being a great song, 
but so is my bias and she is back gorgeous kind of wish there was a signature bunch of strong females for this purchase we're now on to Singapore I do know what this is this actually is one of the purchases that's been in my possession the longest this arrived right after I finished filming my January haul so it's been here since late January and it was from no tracking so I didn't even know if it'll ever arrive so I just didn't wait for it when I filmed my January haul one of the reasons why it took so long is because the seller was on vacation too so they weren't home to ship it Let's see if we can just get it out without getting everything out nope I can't because you open it from this end man so many different tapes <laughs> oh yay found an opening make sure Suho doesn't get stuck Oh, smooth. When I said that my EXO Tempo Allegro version was completed, I really meant you had to wait for Suho. I forgot <laughs> that we didn't have Suho yet. But yes, now it is completely done. I have Suho's photo card. Looking like a snack. This is one of my all-time favorite photos of him. I love it when he wears hats. He is so damn gorgeous. Perfection right there. So this postcard came with the album. This is actually in the domestic version, which is the version I got. I'm trying to collect only my biases for the postcard. So I'm just missing Schumann's postcard. I initially wanted to wait to buy his photo card with his postcard, like I did with Suho's and like I did with Dio's, but I just can't do that. Like it's just taking too long. So I just got the photo card as its own and I'll just wait to see the postcard and get Schumann's postcard when I do see it. But I am so happy and surprised how quickly I finished Tempo's collection. Probably because I only had to do one version. Our second to last package, it is from eBay all the way from Japan. Really nice envelope. Let's see. I think I just open it from this end. I don't recall if I bought from this seller before. No, I have not. Oh, this might be the shipping label. Let me just pull it out discreetly. Actually, I'm just leave it in. You don't need to see the shipping label. I think I can just pull everything out without the shipping label. Yeah, all right. So from Japan, here we have some Japanese photo cards. Here we have EXO Countdown album. We have Shuman and Suho, my biases. Surprisingly, although they're my biases, they're the third and second to last members to collect for this album. But I got them at a fairly decent price and I was able to get them together. So that is always great. Man, these are beautiful, especially Suho. I am so close to finishing this set. I still have to buy Chanyo's version, which I'm not gonna rush on because I think it's like 30 something dollars right now. And that's ridiculous. I got these for, I think 21 each. So I'm hoping to get Chanyo's one for like low 20s. And there's no rush for this album. Like there will always be these photo cards out. So Chanyo, I will get you eventually, but happy I got my two biases. Last but not least, it is a purchase from a seller I bought from before all the way from Thailand. I had to write a little note here so I remember. I bought two Gross Generation OGG photo cards from this seller. I believe I bought Sunny and Hyoyeon from this seller. I remember that end won't get me anywhere. I have to open it this end. I remember these photo cards arrived quite a while ago. Like I actually remember making a purchase a long time ago. So this has been in my possession for a while. And I do think I remember specifically which members I bought. I do know which album this is for. It's only two photo cards as usual. Let's see. I don't even know where's an opening. Oh, right here. Yes. Can I slip it out? No, I can't. I'm just having an extra harder time than usual with this haul trying to get the items out it's like the sellers joined the pack to just give me difficulties <laughs> for my videos let's see is that do I even need no I don't even need that okay I actually don't even need the tape do, do I do I need to remove the tape yes I do oh it's one of those side top loaders I didn't remember that oh 
Okay, this came as a surprise. I didn't know it was Wendy. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit of an idiot. Okay, right when I said I knew who I was gonna get, I don't even know who I got with her photo card. Oh, finally. Oh, okay. This is interesting now. Wow, okay, this is actually one of the very first purchases from this haul. That's why I thought it was already in my January haul. This probably arrived right after. Which is why I thought I already have it in my collection. My gosh. Finally! Finally! Oh my god! Alright, we have Wendy from Red Velvet's RBB and Yeri! I really thought I already added these into my photocard collection. I didn't realize I had these in my possession for this haul. And the bags. So for Yuri set, as I mentioned earlier, it is done. Sogi's photo card. I don't have it, I guess. I, that's what I thought. I thought this would be Sogi's photo card. I am so bamboozled right now. Everything's all confusing. So for my Wendy set, I'm finished because I bought her photo card in my last haul. So as of right now, I have at least one photo card of each member in this era. So I am kind of close to finishing this. I believe I just need three more, but I have to organize my photo cards to know for sure. This is quite a shocker for me. I am so confused, <laughs> but I'm happy I got these. So pretty, especially Yuri's photo card. This marks the end of the video. Wow, there's actually quite a lot of things. Like there's a lot more photo cards than I expected there would be. Might be the most I've ever purchased on a haul. Again, I apologize for this video being late. It's pretty much mid-March almost. So I really, really apologize about that. After this haul, the next videos should be an unboxing for CLC's number one, followed by Idols I Made. That's already in my possession, but I just didn't have time to film it yet. I will do CLC first because that album came out first. After Idol should be Key's album. I really hope you guys had a great time watching this haul. If you guys did, hit the like button or just let me know in the comments below. If you guys want more of this content, hit the subscribe button so it will notify you for my next videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!